The lats are a muscle very much involved in swimming of every stroke. They play a large role in force production due to their main roles as a shoulder extender and also as a shoulder internal rotator. Many people don't know that the lats are an internal rotator, but they attach right here on our humerus, creating that internal rotation of the shoulder. They also start all the way down, or maybe not start, but they run from all the way down here at our thoracolumbar fascia around our pelvis and run all the way up our backsides and attach right there into our arm. If this muscle is extremely tight, it can limit certain range of motions. And also, if this muscle is tight, it can impair or prevent optimal force production in swimming. Both of these things could limit swimming potential and increase the risk for injury. If you think about it, if this lat is tight, it's going to rotate our shoulder in just due to its attachment. It could put you at a little more risk for shoulder impingement in the front of our shoulder. So, being able to assess if someone has tight lats is really important for either a dry land coach, swim coach, or just the athlete in general. So one way you can test this is to actually wind up the fascia of the thoracolumbar or the low back. So you're going to be against the wall here in a mini squat. You're going to tighten your abs and flatten your back against the wall. What that's going to do is kind of wind up the fascia in our low back and put the lats on a little bit of a stretch. Then what the athlete will do is maintain that pressure in their low back or their low back against the wall. Raise their arms overhead as high as they can. Okay? This is as high as I can go here. So once again, we're here and I actually get your head against the wall, that's another way to wind that up. And you're just raising those arms up as high as you can. This is as high as I can come. So this can be your pretest. Remember, we always want to check and then recheck afterwards. So how are we going to get these tight lats a little bit better? Or a little bit longer length, a little bit more mobile? You can use a foam roll here, um, just right here on our side. You can lay on your side, roll up and down all the way along our side of our lats. So I'm laying here kind of at this beach pose position angled at the side. Finding some tender spots, going nice and slow over them. Usually recommend about one to two minutes here. The more tender, the slower you go. So right here, I'm pretty darn tight. I could hang out right here. I'm also tight a little bit higher toward my Terry's major, and then just holding right there. If the foam roll is not aggressive enough or not specific enough, you can also use a heavy bar. Okay, for this, what you can do is just find a part of the bar and then just roll nice and slow on that area. Once again, right here, kind of near that Terry's area or the uh, Terry's minor, Terry major, that area can be pretty tight. I'm just rolling up and down. Okay, if it's not too tight there, I can kind of get on my toes, get a little bit more on the side there. Once again, just getting a little firmer device here with the bar to apply a little bit more pressure if you're not feeling much with the foam roll. But once again, we want to make sure this is helping our tight lats or if it changes at all. So you have to check and recheck. So we go back to our assessment test here. I'm against the wall. My abs are tight. And then all I'm going to be doing is have my head against the wall, raise my arms up as high as I can. And now my right hand can hit the wall. My left hand is still a little lacking. Okay, the left one has improved a little, maybe through some cross education or just decreasing the tone of my whole fascial system. But the right arm was much improved there. However, just because I have more range of motion, my lats less stiff doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to use that in the water. Often what we want to do on dry land is increase an athlete's capacity to function well or to learn better or improve motor skills. This is one method if you do have tight lats that this can help and translate into the pool.